Hello Year 6 and welcome to today's science lesson. Now over the last couple of weeks we have been looking at the heart. So two weeks ago we thought about the circulation system and all the things that are part of it. Last week we really focused in on the heart and we looked at its role and what, it jo what jobs it does and where it is and all of that kind of stuff. Now today we're going to be doing an investigation. Hopefully you are aware that our heart beats faster when we exercise. So today we're gonna to see actually how much faster it goes. What happens to our heart? How does it settle down after rest? We're gonna find all of this out and then display it in a couple of graphs, or tables and graphs. And then next week, we'll be doing the work to work out actually why that happens. But today, it's all about the investigation. So, step number one. So, you'll all have access to this document. And like I said, if you've not watched the video, then watch it now, you are doing and we're conducting an investigation. So what you're gonna be doing is, you are gonna think of five different exercises that you can do, and you'll put it into a little table that looks like this one. Okay, if you wanna use those exercises, that's absolutely fine. And what we're gonna do is, we are gonna measure our heart rate straight after we've done it, two minutes after we've done it, and then four minutes after we've done the exercise. So you'll need a phone or something else that you can time it on. Okay, and your information is going to go into a thing like this. So, one of the things you're going to have to do is take your pulse rate. So there's a couple of ways to do that. The way that I find it easiest to take my pulse rate is to get two fingers like this and to put them up in my neck. Now, you've got to push quite hard, not too hard so that it hurts, but you've got to push a little bit so that it goes up and in. Hopefully, if you're quiet, you can feel the pulse. Okay, so you're kind of not right in the middle. You're not going to feel it there where you like Adam's apple is. Not right back here, but you're kind of working in here. So whilst you're watching this video, try and do that. The other place some people find it is in the wrist. Now I'm rubbish at finding it in my wrist. But again, they kind of use two fingers. Feel about in your wrist and you kind of eventually work out where you pulse with. The other way which is not as accurate is to put your hand on your heart. Now when you're resting, you might not be able to feel it that well. But once you do an exercise, you probably can. So job number one is you're going to take your resting pulse rate. Now we measure our pulse rate by working out how many times it beats in a minute. So we can stand here for a minute and measure it. What I normally do is just do it for 30 seconds and then double it. So what I'm gonna do now is take my pulse rate and then I'm gonna put it in the table in here. So I need to be quiet and time it, starting from now. Okay, and that was, I got a pulse of 34, which means that my resting pulse rate is double that, because that was for 30 seconds. So my pulse rate is 68. So you're gonna, in your table, like I've done here, you're gonna put that resting pulse rate. Okay, now we need to work out what's the next thing that we need to do. So the next thing you're gonna do is do some exercise. And what I would suggest is whatever exercise you do, you might do it for 30 seconds. And then importantly, straight away after that, we're gonna measure our heart rate again. Okay, so I'm gonna start my 30 seconds of star jumps. In a minute, in a minute, in a minute, in a minute. Now. And go hard, okay? Whatever you're doing, make sure you actually put some effort in and do it as hard as you can. That's only 10 seconds. This is harder than expected it's gonna be. I'm still going, I'm still going. That's 20 seconds, 10 more seconds to go. Make sure you're going hard. Hopefully I'm not gonna break my four or five seconds left. Woo. And then straight away start taking your pulse and you're gonna do it for 30 seconds again, okay? Whoops, so that's 30 seconds, tap for now on. Some 20 seconds. And stop. So I got 68, which was for 30 seconds, so I need to double that. 
So that gets me to 136. So I'm gonna write that in my table here. Then what I need to do is wait until it has been two minutes after I finish the exercise, okay? So you need to have your, your clock handy so that you know when you've done two minutes, a little bit out of breath, sorry. And then after you've done two minutes, where you've been waiting, measure your heart rate again, okay? You should notice it's coming down a little bit. And then four minutes after you've finished the exercise, measure your heart rate again, and then you put it in here. And then what you probably end up, so I'm not gonna do that, but you'll probably end up with a table that looks something like this, okay? So you've got your resting heart rate in there, you have got your heart rate straight after the exercise, then you've got your heart rate what it was two minutes after you finished the exercise, then you've got your heart rate what it was for four minutes after you finished the exercise. Now you need to repeat that for your five different exercises, okay? Still a little bit out of breath. Whew. And then hopefully you'll have a full table. Now with that table, I'm hoping that that's the kind of main thing of the lesson to get that table done. However, some of us might fancy uh, pushing ourselves a little bit and putting it into a line graph, which I'm going to show you how to do now. Okay, so drawing the line graph. Now I'm going to be honest, if you've not got square paper, this is going to be difficult, but you can still give it a good go, okay? So, line graph. Up the side, we need your heart rate. So you need to look at what your lowest heart rate was. Now my lowest heart rate was like 60 something, 68. So I'm actually gonna start and I'm gonna make every centimeter worth uh, 10 beats, okay? So if I start here, that could maybe be where I get to 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. Okay, and along the bottom, I've then got uh, my different time periods, okay? So I've got uh, the one that I did. So I could say that was straight after exercise. And then I could do this one as two minutes. Two minutes after exercise. And then I could do this one as four mins after exercise. Now, what you're gonna need is for your five different exercises, five different pens. Now, as I know, I've said that that's gonna be 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Okay, and this is the beats per minute heart rate. Okay, so if I take my uh, results for my star jumps, straight after the exercise, I was on 130 beats per minute. So that's 120, that's 130, and it's 136. So it's gonna be about there. Then after two minutes, it dropped down to 104. So 100's here, so 104 is gonna be just above that. So I'm gonna say that's there. And then four minutes after exercise, it was 79, so that's 60, that's, so it's gonna be just less than 80. So I'm gonna put that's there. And then I would drop, draw my lines up, and that in black, so I'd have a key as well to say that my key is black pencil equals star jumps. Okay. Then I would do the same for my other four exercises. Obviously I've not done those, but you will be doing them. So whatever it was straight after exercise, you put that in here and it would drop down to two minutes after exercise and then four minutes after exercise. And then what you'd hopefully end up with is a line graph with all of them. Now, if what I've said in the last two and a half minutes makes no sense at all, don't worry about it. This is kind of an extension thing for those people who really want to impress me. Okay, I'm gonna turn you around to my face. So yeah, don't worry if that uh, line graph has just completely confused you. As long as I have the table, which uh, you've seen earlier in the video, I'm okay. The, st the line graph is for those people who really want to impress me. Now importantly, do not lose this stuff because next week in our science lesson, we're gonna be using it, okay? Year six, give it a good go. I'm still a little bit out of breath in my star jumps and I will see you in the next super scientific lesson. Goodbye.